G'day folks, welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna play you another John Hagee clip. And this clip is a book promotion promoting John Hagee's book called In Defense of Israel. But in this clip, John Hagee says that Jesus was not the Messiah. Jesus did not come to be the Messiah and that the Jews cannot be blamed for rejecting Jesus because Jesus never claimed to be the Messiah. I'm going to play you the clip and then I'm going to read you a couple of quotes from the book where John Hagee even goes as far as saying that Jesus was not the Messiah. Watch this clip. I'm delighted to present my latest book, In Defense of Israel. This book will expose the sins of the fathers and the vicious abuse of the Jewish people. In Defense of Israel will shape Christian theology. It scripturally proves that the Jewish people as a whole did not reject Jesus as Messiah. It will also prove that Jesus did not come to earth to be the Messiah. It will prove that there was a Calvary conspiracy between Rome, the high priest and Herod to execute Jesus as an insurrectionist too dangerous to live. Since Jesus refused by word and deed to claim to be the Messiah, how can the Jews be blamed for rejecting what was never offered? Read it in this shocking expose in defense of Israel. This latest book by Pastor John Hagee is destined to generate lively discussions among Christians the world over. It's available in most U.S. bookstores or call the number on the screen and order your copy today. Call now or visit our website. Ask for offer B139. What's very clear here is that John Hagee says that Jesus did not come to the earth to be the Messiah. And he also said that since Jesus refused by word and deed, very important there, to claim to be the Messiah, how can the Jews be blamed for rejecting what was never offered? He also says in his book on page 136 of the original book, it says, there is not one verse of scripture in the New Testament that says that Jesus came to be the Messiah. Pretty strong words. He says also on page 140, the Jews were not rejecting Jesus as Messiah. It was Jesus who was refusing to be the Messiah to the Jews. And on page 143, he said he refused, referring to Jesus, to be their Messiah, choosing instead to be the Savior of the world. Very clear here. He is denying that Jesus is the Messiah of the Jews. Very clear. Let me read to you some verses which directly contradict what he says. First of all, John 1 verse 41 says this, he, referring to Andrew, first found his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. This passage is very important for two reasons. First, the Apostle Andrew clearly believed that Jesus was the Messiah. But the more important point I want to make from this text is that the words Messiah and Christ mean the same thing. Messiah is Hebrew and Christ is Greek. So when we say Jesus Christ, we are really saying Jesus the Messiah. This phrase, Jesus Christ, appears 185 times in the New Testament. The phrase Christ Jesus appears another 69 times. In the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 11, an angel tells the shepherds that Christ, Messiah, has been born in Bethlehem. In Matthew 16, 13 to 17, Peter says that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus confirmed his statement by saying to him, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. In Luke 4 verse 41, the demons say, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. In John 7 verse 31, people in the crowds at Jerusalem said, when the Christ comes, that is when the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than these which this man has done? In John 9 22, the parents of the blind man whom Jesus had healed did not want to say Jesus healed their son because the Jews had said that anyone who says Jesus is the Messiah will be expelled from the synagogue. In Mark 14, 61 to 62, the high priest asked Jesus point blank, are you the Christ? Are you the Messiah, the son of the blessed one? And Jesus replied, 
I am, using the divine name in Greek, Ego Emi. In John chapter 10, verse 22 to 27, we read this. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered around him saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Very clear. Jesus had already told them plainly that he was the Messiah and his works testified that he was the Messiah. You see, any false Messiah can make claims. They can claim to be the Messiah. But Jesus was unique in that he demonstrated that he was the Messiah. But probably one of the most obvious moments in which Jesus put himself forward as the Messiah was at the triumphal entry in Jerusalem. See, the words Messiah and Christ mean anointed or anointed one, a title given primarily to priests and kings. In the second temple period, there was great expectation that God's promise to David about one of his descendants sitting on the throne of Israel forever was about to be fulfilled. This expected king was referred to as the Messiah or the Christ. And all of the Jews knew the prophecy of Zechariah about the king of Israel, the Messiah, riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. We see in Zechariah 9 verse 9, Rejoice, O daughter of Zion! Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem! Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, a colt, the fowl of a donkey. This is very clearly what Jesus did when he entered into Jerusalem in Matthew chapter 21. We see in Matthew chapter 21, as he was entering in, in verse 9, it says, Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna, which means God save us. Hosanna to the son of David. You see how they're calling him the son of David? They are recognizing that Jesus was the son of David, the king that was coming in according to Zechariah 9.9, riding on a donkey, the king that was to come. And then they said, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All of Jerusalem knew that Jesus claimed by word and deed to be the Messiah. Even as Jesus was crucified, there was a sign above his head saying that he was the king of the Jews. And even after his death, burial and resurrection, the disciples proclaimed him to be the Messiah. So much so that the apostles and the apostle Paul went throughout the land of Israel and the Gentile world, visiting the synagogues and telling the Jews that Jesus, the long awaited Messiah, had come. Very, very clear that Jesus claimed to be the Messiah. 